If you let them, they'll do it 18 hours a day with no interruption. With lightning fast reflexes and the fervor of an assembly line robot, they'll make a job out of any repetitive behavior. Some to the point of driving their owner insane. They're high drive, high energy, intense dogs that are driven to do some sort of job all day, every day. This is a dog that brings you tennis balls 24 hours a day, frisbees, something. They've been bred to work sheep and run over hill and dale 50 miles every day. And most people don't have an outlet for it. And so you need a job or an outlet for their energy. Just about any border collie worth his or her salt is obsessive to some degree. But the same characteristic that is ideal for bossing sheep around can drive many first-time owners into abandoning these highly intelligent, vigilant animals. This is a little nuclear power plant, and just like a nuclear power plant, if you have an outlet for them and you can focus and channel their energy, they're wonderfully productive. If you don't have an outlet for that energy, then you're in for a meltdown, and lots of people end up with these dogs and end up with a meltdown. <laughs> Ten years ago, Nick Carter founded Border Collie Rescue, a nonprofit organization dedicated to rescuing and finding new homes for Border Collies from around the world. We house probably a hundred dogs here at our facility and then maybe a couple hundred dogs across the country that we have in foster homes. Our problem though is finding new homes. Uh, these are demanding dogs and, and not very easy dogs to live with. So we try to find as many possible creative ways as to find these dogs jobs and, and good placements for them. Border Collies are obviously ideal for working sheep, working cattle, working birds, ducks, ostriches, chickens, it doesn't matter. If you've got a job, they want to fill it. And if you don't have a job, then you're not the home for a Border Collie. Come out, come out, come out. Wait, wait to me, wait to me. Wait to me. Lie down. Lie down. Come by. To prepare dogs for the working world, training takes place seven days a week. With the use of the shepherd's whistle, the dogs are taught commands, such as move left, right, and lie down. You can't let a halfway trained dog out there. These dogs have to be perfect. and. When you say lie down or you whistle lie down, that dog better be hitting the dirt. That dog better stop on a dime. Nick has been very successful at finding work for his dogs. And in 1997, he found a brand new need for a well-trained border collie. We had been training dogs to herd geese and stuff off of corporate parks and golf courses and the like. And I was watching television one day and there was a special on TV about the dangers of birds at airports. And they can't get rid of them. I said, well, geez, border collies, that's your answer. That's what we've been doing with these golf courses and Canadian geese. We can do that at, at airports as well. With its airfield in the midst of a densely populated bird habitat, the Southwest Florida International Airport had a problem that was in need of a solution. We've been looking for different methods to control the wildlife on our airport, and there's an organization called Bird Strike USA, and they have a conference every year. And Dr. Carter from Border Collie Rescue was there doing demonstrations of using his Border Collies to herd birds away from runways. And we thought that possibly this would be a very environmentally friendly way to help us control our Santo crane population. Southwest Florida International Airport was the first one to sort of take us up on our offer. And since then it's uh, taken off, as they say. Let's go, Jet! Let's go! Meet Jet, resident bird wrangler. Once abandoned, he is now a dog with the very important daily job of herding birds away from the runway. 
all he wants to do is work. He adores working and he loves to just please you. And here's the perfect environment for him. He gets a job, he gets a steady salary in essence. He's paid in dog food every day. And so he's happy as a clam. Carol Obermeyer, one of Jet's seven trainers, always looks forward to her rounds. Jet loves his job. He's just, he, he lives to work and he just lives to herd birds. Uh, he's just so happy in the morning when you come to take him out or in the afternoon because he knows he's going to work. And Jet's love for his job is not only making airports safer for humans. It's very rare that a bird comes in contact with a plane and the bird wins. So if we have Jet around convincing birds that they shouldn't live on the airport, these birds have a much better chance of living a long and happy life. For Nick Carter, this unique program does more than find good jobs and homes for abandoned border collies. It's sort of a great scenario for us because we're saving a dog's life, we're saving a bird's life, and we're also saving airplanes and potentially people's lives.